Solving quadratic equations by factoring. What is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2, which can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. In solving quadratic equation in one variable, it is important to know the quadratic equation in standard form, the zero product property, and the properties of equality. Zero product property. If the product of two real numbers is zero, then either of the two is equal to zero, or both numbers are equal to zero. Properties of equality. For all real numbers A, B, and C, if A equals B, then A plus C equals B plus C. If A equals B, then A minus C equals B minus C. If A equals B, then A times C equals B times C. If A equals B, then A over C equals B d over c. Solve the following quadratic equations by factoring method. Solve for x. x squared minus 3x equals 10. To solve quadratic equations by factoring, first write the equation in standard form if it is not written in standard form. To write this in standard form, make use of the subtraction property of equality. Subtract 10 to both sides of the equation. x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 10 minus 10. So the equation in standard form is x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. Next is factor completely. Factor the polynomial in the left side of the equation, which is x squared minus 3x minus 10. This is a trinomial with leading coefficient equals 1. To factor, think of two numbers that will give you a product of negative 10 and a sum of negative 10. 3. Think of two numbers that will give you a product of negative 10 and a sum of negative 3. Negative 5 and 2. The factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2. Our equation now is the quantity x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 0. Next is set each factor equal to 0 and solve. x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0. By using the properties of equality, x equals 5 or x equals negative 2. Solve for x. x squared minus 7x equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to 1, b is negative 7, and c is equal to 0. Note that the right side of the equation is equal to 0. Since the equation is already written in standard form, Let's factor x squared minus 7x. Factor out the common monomial factor, which is x. Then divide each term by the CMF. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 7x divided by x is negative 7. The equation is x 
times the quantity x minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, let's set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. x is equal to 0 or x minus 7 is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 7. Let's check. Substitute each of the values of x to the original quadratic equation. If x equals 0, is 0 squared minus 7 times 0 equal to 0? 0 is equal to 0. True. For x equals 7, is 7 squared minus 7 times 7 equal to 0? Is 49 minus 49 equal to 0? 0 is equal to 0. True. Solve for x. x squared minus 25 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to negative 25. The expression in the left side of the equation is of the form difference of two squares. To factor, find the square root of x squared and the square root of 25. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is 5. Then write in the form sum and difference of two terms. The factors are x plus 5 and x minus 5. Set each factor equal to 0, x plus 5 equals 0, or x minus 5 equals 0. Using the subtraction property of equality and addition property of equality respectively, x equals negative 5 or x equals 5. Solve for x. x squared plus 12x plus 36 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in standard form where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 12, and c is equal to 36. The expression on the left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial. Just find the square root of x squared and the square root of 36. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 36 is 6. The factors are x plus 6 and x plus 6. Since the factor is repeated, just set x plus 6 equals 0. Using the subtraction property of equality, x is equal to negative 6. Solve for x. x squared plus 78 is equal to 19x. First, write in standard form. Simply subtract 19x to both sides of the equation. The equation in standard form is x squared minus 19x plus 78 is equal to 0. The expression on the left side of the equation is a trinomial with leading coefficient equals 1. To factor, think of two numbers that will give you a product of 78 
and a sum of negative 19. Think of two numbers that will give you a product of 78 and a sum of negative 19. Negative 6 and negative 13. The factors are x minus 6 and x minus 13. Next, set each factor equal to 0 and solve. x minus 6 equals 0 or x minus 13 equals 0. x is equal to 6 or x equals 13. Solve for x. 6x squared minus 5x equals 21. Is this quadratic equation in standard form? No. How are you going to write this in standard form? Simply subtract 21 to both sides of the equation. The quadratic equation in standard form is 6x squared minus 5x minus 21 is equal to 0. What are the factors of 6x squared minus 5x minus 21? Try trial and error. Factor 6x squared also negative 21. What are the possible factors of 6x squared? 2x and 3x. What are the possible factors of negative 21? 3 and negative 7. The factors are 2x plus 3 and 3x minus 7. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve. 2x plus 3 equals 0 or 3x minus 7 equals 0. 2x equals negative 3 or 3x equals 7. x equals negative 3 over 2 or x equals 7 over 3. Solve for x. 15x squared plus 29x minus 14 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation in standard form where A equals 15, B equals 29, and C equals negative 14. What are the factors of 15x squared plus 29x minus 14? Try trial and error. Factor 15x squared and also negative 14. What are the possible factors of 15x squared? 3x and 5x. What are the possible factors of negative 14? 7 and negative 2. Are 3x plus 7 and 5x minus 2 factors of 15x squared plus 29x minus 14? To check, find the sum of the product of the inner terms and the outer terms. 7 times 5x is 35x. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. 35x plus negative 6x equals 29x. Yes, the factors are 3x plus 7 and 5x minus 2. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve. 3x plus 7 
is equal to 0 or 5x minus 2 equals 0. Using the properties of equality, 3x equals negative 7 or 5x equals 2. x equals negative 7 over 3 or x equals 2 over 5.